reckless ass gets yourself into a situation like this in Recklessville, USA. He's making $9 million per year and just signed an extension worth $192 mil. That brings him up to two hundred dollars and some change. From the looks, he kicked his own ass down. Not to mention the Gatorade Nike contract he just signed that he just jeopardized. <laughs> and Penny said, pray for Ja. I ain't got it in. I no remorse. As you can tell on the channel of Cool, I have no remorse for this dude. Why? They all failed. Coaches, organization heads, teammates, parents. They didn't tap you on your shoulder and say, Ja, heard you being out there reckless. Good game and all, but... You know, Ja, you being reckless out there, uh, you know, you kind of tarnishing your rep right now. And you know how the NBA go. They going to get you out of the dough if you keep acting up, bro. Where, where was that at? If I was making $9 million a year playing the sport that I love, the first thing I'm going to do is I want the audio version and the book, the employee handbook, because I want to know what to avoid as a professional NBA basketball player, I don't want no trouble going my way. And I'm, I'm going to hire someone I can trust to watch out for my personal needs and basically my public relations needs. I told y'all before public relations is important in the sports and in, in black sports in the black community. Did he have anybody? Shit, he lived with both his parents, Clarence. I know something about you. You went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. The man, a dog, you embarrassed? This guy's a gangster? His real name is Channel of Cool. Like and share and subscribe. John ja Morant does it again. He does it again. Bang, bang. This is out of ESPN.com. Adam Silver is shocked to see another video of John ja Morant with a gun. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver described himself as shocked when he saw a social media video of Memphis Grizzlies superstar Ja Morant holding a firearm less than two months after they met to discuss a similar incident that resulted in an eight-game suspension. The Grizzlies on Sunday suspended Morant from all off-season team activities pending the league's office review of the video that surfaced over the weekend. Quote, honestly, I was shocked when I saw this weekend that video. Silver told ESPN's Malika Andrews from the NBA's Draft Lottery Tuesday in Chicago. Now we're in the process of investigating it and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can. The video is a bit grainy and all that, but I'm assuming the worst. You know, the, you know what I like about Adam Silver? He, he keep it real. Homie already said he's assuming the worst in this video. So he's already thinking about the penalty he's about to give Morant, which better be stiff. Morant was previously suspended in March after he could be seen during an Instagram live session holding up a handgun while intoxicated at a Denver area club when the Grizzlies were in town to play the Nuggets. Morant enrolled in a Florida counseling facility to learn how to manage stress better. The Instagram live video that emerged over the weekend came from the account of Morant's best friend, Devontae Pack, who has been involved in several of Morant's off-court incidents that merited investigation from the league office. Pack was banned from attending Grizzlies home games for a year following an investigation into a post-game confrontation with the Indiana Pacers on January 29th when a red laser was alleged to have been pointed out of an SUV in which Morant was traveling. Hey, strike three, you out. You go play in China with Shanghai. The Sharks is looking for another free agent. Dwight Howard is looking for another teammate. Hey, he even he, he recruited KD, Chris Paul, and everybody else that lost in the playoffs this year. <laughs> Shanghai about to get deep with straight all-stars and Hall of Famers, huh? They can replace you. The NBA's been replacing folk. Ja, you're doing it again, bruh. And it seems as if you ain't learned nothing. And then your boy. Let me take it to uh, Mr. Steven Jackson. He even disowning your ass, bro. You just messing up all over the place. Check this out. This is out of hot new hip hop. Steven Jackson calls Ja Morant a moron. Steven Jackson also defended Ja a few months ago, though. Steven Jackson is a former NBA player who went through a lot in his career. Although he made some mistakes, he was able to eventually redeem himself. <laughs> Liar. This video makes perfect sense now because he don't want to get left looking dumb. That said, Jackson is owning up to his role in defending Morant. During an episode of the I Am Athlete podcast, 
I was one guy, you know, that actually went to bat for him because I've been a guy who was throwing a lot of money at a young age and made a mistake, you know what I'm saying? But it, I, I'm totally different from the person I was. And, you know, I think a lot of people commend me on the changes I made, you know, after the mistakes I made. It's not what you do, it's what you do after. And what you do after is not do the same thing again. It's what he just did. So mm -hmm. all the people like me that was taken up for him and I said it was a mistake, he's a young kid, you know, we can't we can't go to bat for him this time. This was the dumbest thing he could have done. This is a moron move. Um, his parents should be embarrassed. Uh, his friends around him that, that, like we said, from the last incident, wasn't his friend so it's just it's just a fucked up situation but you you got you got to really just put everything in his lap and let him deal with it at it again you ask me uh nba can't go soft on his uh discipline they can't they're gonna have to give him a stiff penalty because they let him slide last they let him slide last and he did the exact same offense i could see if he got caught gambling that's a steep penalty too but at least it ain't brandishing the gun in this case he did the same exact thing he did two just two months ago homie ain't learned shit in that rehab center and and i will probably test him and luca i'm a snitch i'll test them for drinking i think both of them dudes got drinking problems i think they need to be tested and these are your all stars these are your stars these this is your future nba so I ain't mad at the NBA for coming down hard on them like they supposed to. If they don't, well, you just gonna have another badass kid like three strikes you out, bruh. And this this is clearly a case of knowing your past and the present. This Batman ain't learned neither one or nothing. He in trouble.